Over the course of sports games, we have many different playable characters, dozens upon hundreds upon thousands of baseball players, basketball players, hockey players, football players, other football players, other other football players, pro wrestlers, and combat sports athletes. But here's the burning question that'll be asked for centuries after the human race dies out. Why buy a WWE game to play a Stone Cold Steve Austin? When you can play as Fred Durst instead. Keep on rolling, baby. From celebrities to fictional characters, we'll look at a lot of the cameos that sports games often have. And trust me, there are a lot of them. Ooh, I thought I had a big tattoo. So trying to find a place to start with this is like trying to find one of those many single ladies that are supposedly in my local area. It's impossible. So let's start off with Midway Games because their games were full of stuff like this. You can make a whole video on NBA Jam itself and there actually is one. You have Mortal Kombat characters, game devs, and uh, political figures as well in these later games. I wonder how many people ever said, God, I can't wait to get home to play as Sarah Palin. Like, what is this even supposed to be? Like, what is this? This extended to other Midway games as well. MLB Slugfest had plenty of other unlockables, like many different animals, of course the Mortal Kombat characters, and even Todd McFarland? Okay. NFL Blitz had Mortal Kombat characters as well and Red Card 2003 had the freaking SWAT team. These games are truly random, and we can go on, but we'll be here all day with these Midway games. Tony Hawk is another thing that has had its fair share of weird cameos. Spider-Man, Iron Man, Darth Maul, Shrek, Wolverine, Doom Guy, Gene Simmons. If you remove the context, you would think I'm reading off of a 10-year-old Super Smash Brothers character wish list. And look, you even have Mark Henry's kid all grown up. I like how the Call of Duty soldier is just called Call of Duty soldier. Yeah, this was before soap was invented and shit. Not to be outdone, EA Skate has Isaac Clark you could skate around with, and with his very own hoverboard. NBA 2K has a ton of celebrities in their games. Here's a fun Google game to play. Type NBA 2K, then a celebrity's name right after. Odds are they made an appearance in some way or the other. Justin Bieber? Yep. Jay-Z? Sure. Spike Lee? Obviously. Uh, I don't know. Jake from State Farm. I don't even know why I just said that. I don't even know why I'm just bothering with this. There's no way he's in any kind of video game. Hey, neighbor. Are you? Jake from State Farm. Oh, you hang out here, bro? Yeah, hey, right next to the course in your neighborhood. Hey, that's dope, fam. Huh, this isn't even anything new to these 2K games. NFL 2K had the crib where you walk around your own house, answer a random phone call, and... Hey, Steve-O here. You ready to show me what you got? Hey, it's Steve-O. You can have the likes of Steve-O, Carmen Electra, and David Arquette challenge you to games of NFL 2K5, where they trash talk you the entire game. <laughs> too much attitude on me now. While doing research for this video, Steve-O said that his team name was the Banana Tuggers, but the actual game, they're just called the Dream Team. Yeah, he couldn't get away with that shit. But all of you watching now know, Combat Sports is just as insane when it comes to their cameos. Fight Night Round 2 has Little Mac from Punch-Out, and in Fight Night Round 3, you can have the Burger King mascot train you, which might have you going from looking like this to looking like this. The EA Sports UFC games are no strangers to these cameos as well. Ring announcer Bruce Buffer and UFC president Dana White are fighters you can select, along with the likes of Isaac Frost and Andre Bishop from Fight Night Champion. Bruce Lee is also in this game and is playable. And all of these are pretty cool, but not all that weird. Yeah, Bruce Lee is not a UFC fighter, but he's a martial artist. Yes, Isaac Frost and Andre Bishop aren't real, but they are video game combat sports fighters. And Bruce Buffer and Dana White aren't fighters, but they are involved in the UFC. You want to see weird? Have a look at Ready to Rumble Boxing. Michael Jackson? Shaq? Bill and Hillary Clinton? Like you want to talk about random? This is an actual fight you can have in a fully published, real, unmodded video game. Who made this? Oh, Midway, that actually makes sense. What's even cooler is that Michael Jackson mo captain and voiced himself while taking no payment for any of it. I guess that just adds to the legacy of MJ being a pretty weird guy, and that's putting it lightly. Wrestling games, boy oh boy, wrestling games. I've already mentioned Fred Durst, but look at this. Judgment Day is here. Approaching the ring from the year 
yes, the freaking Terminator for reasons. I mean, WWE games should just go full on Mortal Kombat at this point. Bring in Robocop and Rambo while you're at it. Mike Tyson and a damn hoe already made an appearance in these games, so maybe we're already there. And if you're a big Popeyes fan like me, you can beat the shit out of Colonel Sanders because he's in WWE 2K18. Well, they give you the formula to create him, but he's in an official trailer, so I'm counting it. Just when you thought things were normal, we have those EA WCW games. These games suck, but the developers had a great time making it because everything you could possibly imagine is in these games. One second you're scrolling through some poorly cut out pictures of WCW wrestlers, then you're scrolling through these random ass dudes and then it's just... What? Huh? Santa? WCW and WO Revenge has characters that are literal embodiments of the developer and the publisher. AKI Man and THQ Man. AKI Man always looked like Pepsi Man to me. And apparently he died? I'm not even going to attempt to go down this rabbit hole. Let's look at Snoop Dogg. You know the thing I said earlier about Google and NBA 2K with the celebrity's name? Yeah, scrap that. Do that with Snoop Dogg instead. Madden? Yep. Wait, it's... it's your... Yeah, rapper, producer, entrepreneur, Snoop Deal Double G. Please believe it, that's me. He even has his own card. UFC? The dude narrates. Well, here's a small glass of it right here. Hawaiian punch with ah uh, with no ice. No matter of fact, give me a couple ice cubes. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the Hawaiian punch right there. There it is. Thanks. Okay. NBA 2K. The guy did motion capture for the mascots. What? He's in NHL 20, where not only is he a playable character. Score! What a shot for the Toronto Maple Leafs in dramatic fashion. He also does commentary as well, not to mention the various ads that he was involved in throughout the years. Also, he's an unlockable character in True Crime Streets of LA, which isn't a sports game, but I just wanted to point it out because I was one of those kids that printed out locations of those damn golden dog bones on GameFAQs and whatever. Super Mario has had his own sports games, but did you know that Mario and his friends were in EA Sports games? Just hearing that sounds like mixing Doritos with milk. But it starts to sound good when you realize I'm talking about EA Sports Big. Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, they're all unlockable characters in the GameCube version of SSX on Tour. They are also unlockable in the GameCube version of NBA Street Volume 3, which looks hilarious because the characters don't even reach up to their waistline, but in true Mario fashion, they jump super high for dunks. Let's take a look at Shaq. Shaq is an anomaly of a guy. He's a basketball hall of famer, yet he's involved with some of the weirdest things ever. Firstly, the guy endorses everything under the sun, from Icy Hot to general car insurance to printer ink. He endorses so many things that you can make a top 50 list of things he endorses. He had his own poorly received movie, his own poorly received video game called Shaq Fu where he fights different kind of monsters that got a crowdfunded sequel that was just as poorly received. Why do you keep saying gold bar? I get paid every time I say gold bar. Go back, go back, go back. And he's been in some video games, like Tamadachi Life for some reason. I already mentioned that he's in Ready to Rumble Boxing, but he's also in UFC Undisputed 2010, if you enter a secret code in the main menu. So if you ever wanted to wonder what it would look like to have Shaq fight with Kimbo Slice, now those same four people can live out that fantasy in UFC Undisputed 2010. There are so many, many, many more. But the final thing I wanted to talk about is the weirdest, randomest cameo in general. There's a long list of Tony Hawk ripoffs, from The Simpsons to Mickey Mouse to Solid Snake. You got a game called Razor Freestyle Scooter. It's a game that's a blockbuster exclusive. You want to know how many good blockbuster exclusive games there are? Zero! Zero! You can cut off all my fingers and I'd still be able to tell you with hand gestures. This game is long forgotten, except this one little thing. If you unlock every single character in the game, you notice one that kind of stands out. Don't uh, deframe my image. Yep. Mr. August First warning himself, Tito Ortiz. Like, why? What's the benefit here? I don't think Tito Ortiz being in the game increased sales. His inclusion in this game makes about as much sense as Tito Ortiz trying to string together a coherent sentence. Come on down. Any day. Monday through Sunday, uh, 4 to 10 p.m. Sunday through uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, we're open until 12 p.m. That 
just raises further questions. I searched online and there's nothing really about this. I came to the conclusion that Razor and Tito Ortiz are both stationed in California, so maybe they have a connection? No clue. I also noticed that the publisher is Crave. At first, I thought to myself, Who the fuck is that? But then I remembered that Crave is the exact same publisher that was behind some of those crappy UFC games that came out around the same time as this Razor Scooter game. So maybe this was cross promotion, I guess? Since Crave had the rights to UFC fighters, maybe they just decided to throw a fighter in there? It's similar to the Tony Hawk games, how they had Spider-Man and all those other Marvel characters because Activision published both titles. You could just add this to the list of weird things Tito Ortiz has been involved in. 